Pandora Now Zeus was not yet pleased. He thought and thought how he could take away the gift of fire from men. But an immortal gave them this gift, and no immortal could take it away. At last, Zeus thought of a plan. I shall give these mortals a gift that they will accept, but that will bring them only evil and suffering. He sent for Hephaestus again and said to him, I want you to make a thing for me, a beautiful thing. It must be very beautiful and good, and it must be evil too. So Hephaestus made a thing of love and hate that was beautiful and ugly at the same time. When he finished it, he brought it to Zeus. It will be the first woman, said Zeus. And he breathed upon the image, and it lived, and looked around with wonder. All the immortals looked at the first woman and admired her beauty. And she was beautiful indeed. They wanted to give her some gift on this day, her birthday. Every god gave her some precious thing, and last of all, Zeus put into her hands a box decorated with flowers and fruit, and the handles were two snakes made of gold. Immortals, said Zeus, shall we name her Pandora, all gifted, for has she not received our best gifts? Doesn't she look like a bride waiting for her husband? But she is mortal and cannot marry an immortal. Let us send her to Epimetheus, who will be her husband. This will show him that we are not against him because of his brother. The immortals were pleased, for they did not know about the evil plan of Zeus. Zeus now ordered Hermes to take Pandora to the house of Epimetheus in Arcadia. Epimetheus was full of joy when he looked at Pandora and saw her beauty and the gifts she brought. He married her and forgot the words of Prometheus not to take any gift from Zeus. The next day he remembered his brother's words and said, Ah, I was not wise to take this box, the gift of Zeus. I am sure it will bring me only evil. He then asked Pandora if she knew what was in the box. No, my husband, she said, but I shall bring the box and we will open it and see. I wish to see what the king of the immortals has given us. Stop, Pandora, said Epimetheus, and listen to me. He who sent this box is not a friend, but a cunning enemy, and I think the box holds some evil secret. Prometheus told me to take no gift from Zeus, but I was foolish and forgot. Now what is done cannot be undone. The box is in my house, so let it stay here. If you love me, you must obey me and never open that box. It can bring no evil if we do not open it, and it is such a beautiful thing that I cannot throw it away. Pandora was glad that he did not order her to throw away the box, and every day she looked at it with joy. But after some time... She began to wonder what was inside the box. At last, one day, she put the box on the table and traced the lid just a little bit, a very little bit. At once, before she could close the lid, a hundred little creatures flew out of the box and vanished through the open door. Very much frightened, Pandora closed the box, but alas, too late. The box was empty and she sat down and wept. Now, if she only knew what she had done, she would weep a thousand times more. The creatures that she had freed were all the evils and diseases of mankind, and from that day to this day they fly about the earth and attack unhappy mortals from the cradle to the grave. Such was the gift that the first woman brought with her into the world. Epimetheus found her in tears when he came home. She told him what had happened, but he forgave her and said, It is my fault too, because I left the box in the house where it could see it all day. I know now that it is a woman's nature to be curious. He now also knew what those little creatures were, and he asked Pandora if there was anything left in the box. And she said, No, there is nothing. 
But after some time, she looked again into the box and saw that there was still one little creature left. It could not get out, because the little creature's wings were held between the gold edge of the box and the lid. And Pandora and Epimetheus understood that the name of this little creature was Hope.